Let me show you how to manage your inventory with the help of uh, the Google Data Studio. Here is my uh, Google Data Studio uh, dashboard. Are I already connected uh, this uh, tender to Google Analytics connector. And um, what columns I use? Product brand, product SKU, uh, as well as metrics product revenue, uh, quantity, and average price. Uh, you can also add additional uh, metrics if, in, if you want, but uh, these metrics uh, for my demo will be enough. We are gonna link this data with inventory and Cox data. Uh, we will be joining our uh, uh, sales data from GA uh, with inventory data in Google uh, Sheets uh, by uh, product SKU field. And uh, to quickly generate uh, inventory data, I will uh, click here uh, three dots and uh, choose export. Uh, here I choose uh, Google Sheets and let me rename uh, this uh, export. Uh, then I click export. Uh, so here's my uh, spreadsheet. I will uh, make uh, the first row bold and um, I don't need the product revenue column. Also, I don't need quantity. I'll, let me add additional columns to our data set and uh, it will be inventory left and uh, cost of the goods sold. And uh, let me generate some uh, random numbers uh, for our uh, stock left and uh, cox. For demo purpose, this, this will be enough. And what I need to do is to copy the spreadsheet uh, URL. Mm, and then I go to um, Data Studio and press Add Data. Uh, choose Google Sheets, uh, choose URL and uh, pasting uh, my URL and then press add. Then I need to uh, click um, on the blend data, uh, click uh, join another table and uh, connect my uh, spreadsheet. To configure uh, the join field, I will remove all the unnecessary fields because we're gonna uh, link um, our rec records by product SKU field. I uh, will be using left outer join and press save. Here I also need to remove some dimensions and uh, for metrics I need to add uh, uh, is cox and also inventory left. Then I rename the blended data source and click save. Uh, I think it also will be useful to add uh, product name fields, so I click again and here I want to add another dimension. It will be a product brand and press save. Uh, let me add it to the dimensions as well. We can uh, check our um, product brand, a particular SKU and uh, the number of sales generated by displayed in the GA, quantity sold from there, as well as inventory left in our uh, Google spreadsheet. If I update uh, the inventory left and uh, Cox data, it will be updated in Google Data Studio. So let's update our table and calculate additional metrics. Uh, in my case, it will be revenue per sale and uh, in order to do it I need to create a, cal a calculated metric. I am click on add metric uh, then choose create metric. Uh, metric name will be revenue per sale. Uh, then uh, I need to write a formula average price uh, minus cost of the goods sold and uh, for the metric name will be currency yeah it will be us dollar let me adjust the uh, header a little bit and also i want to calculate one additional metric it will be profit so let's do the same uh, the equation in this case will be uh, product revenue minus uh, quantity times uh, uh, cost of the goods sold and uh, mm, the metric will be dollar. If you want to somehow um, highlight the outlines or some kind of products where you have the low stock plus the product margin quite high or quite low or profit is negative for instance, 
uh, you can do it uh, with the help of uh, conditional formatting. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, not to miss new videos. If you need help with Data Studio, check the description below. Here are some videos that popped out on the screen that may be useful for you.